there, my name's Jocelyn Cohen and I work with a community organization here in Flatbush, Brooklyn, Sustainable Flatbush, and I also teach people about energy. Um, I built a little solar powered charger for a little electronic device like this iPhone here. Um, and so we're going to see if we can charge up the iPhone using the sun. Here is our 10 watt solar panel. From the solar panel, the wire connects, don't worry about that right now, um, into the meter first, and then into this little fun gadget, which is, a, which is a charge controller. And you see here, I don't know if you can see the images very well on it, but right here is where I connected the um, solar panel through the meter. You can see the sun shining on the panel there. I put the labels on too. Um, this is where you hook up the panel itself, I mean the uh, battery itself, the positive and negative terminals. And this is for a, uh, a load, which is something that's gonna use electricity right off of the panel, not going through the battery first, uh, which I don't have anything connected to it now. But the battery part, here comes a bumblebee on a nice uh, late summer day. Um, the battery is connected to the charge controller and all of the uh, energy that's collected by the solar panel gets stored into the battery um, for later use. Even though this is a 10 watt panel, it's going to charge at 10 watts, but you're going to be able to run a lot more um, um, than 10 watts off of the battery. This is the plug, the cigarette plug, that you are uh, going to put your, your load into, um, meaning your, your uh, phone that you want to charge, your mp3 player, and that's just a, a socket like a, exactly like the one that you would find in a car to charge your phone off of um, the car battery. I connected the panel uh, to the lid of a plastic container that was appropriate um, for this use and I put it on with the hinges. And, uh, to the lid of the container and then let's see if we can get a good view of this. See me adjusting that panel. And depending on the angle that you need, you can make it go up and down. And I have a stick. In future versions I'll have some notches on the stick to, to make it at various angles. You figure out the right angle, you can prop it up there. When I adjust the angle, I'm now moving the panel, and you could see that you could learn a lot about how much energy that you're getting depending on the angle. So now, as I said, we have a 10 watt panel. The entire system voltage is 12 volts, and um, <clears throat> the panel is rated at 0.61 uh, current, um, and so the peak power current is going to be a little bit more than that and indeed when the sun is shining on that just perfectly if I'm going to adjust it right now well it's a little hazy now but um, if the sun were shining down really perfectly on there um, it would be getting peak power at about point, a little over 0.7 amps and that's going to charge up that battery. Okay I think it's time to hook this baby up don't you? Let's give it a try. So remember I'm going to my charge controller I am taking the Plug, plugging the little plug with the, an inverter, like the kind that you'd use in your car to just plug in your regular AC, you know, um, appliances and things. And I'm going to plug in my iPhone charger to that. Now, plug in my phone. Let's see how it goes. happening from the sun. Clean it. So here's the sun charger packed up in its little case and uh, you can see I have all the components. Uh, you know packed up in this box. The truth is is that uh, this 
unit. It does not have a small carbon footprint, especially because of the battery. Um, but nonetheless, if you use it a lot, you can lessen that imprint and you can um, be living off of clean energy yourself and uh, showing others too how to do it. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and please do let me know how your sun charger turns out. Thanks.